Hey soulmates, what's good? Paul from Taste Soul Good here. So today I'm on a mission to find Korea's most unique street food. And I think I may have found it. So right behind me, this man is selling a cotton candy ice cream burrito. Yes, three words that normally don't go together, but I'm super excited to see what exactly it is. So let's go check it out. All right, guys, here it is, the ice cream burrito. This thing is so cool. And only 3,000 won, it's like, I don't know, $2.50 US. This is one of the coolest street foods I have ever seen. So he made three different layers of cotton candy, so different colors. There is vanilla ice cream, there is vanilla wafers, there are little chocolate cereal balls, as well as shredded coconut. It smells really good, it smells really coconutty. It took him a while to make this, and only for 3,000 won, it's pretty incredible. But to me, this is going to be diabetes just on a stick right here. But I think it's gonna be well worth it. So let's go ahead and see how that tastes. It looks amazing. I don't even know how to eat this. Let's just go in and take a bite. Oh. <laughs> oh. Let's get some of this ice cream here. This chocolate cereal. Oh, this reminds me of just like a Saturday morning when I was a kid. Oh. Man. It's like the ultimate comfort food right here. Pure, nothing but calories and sugar right here. Definitely not a healthy food. But super interesting. So I'm not sure where you can get this except in this one location. It's not easy to find, I'll tell you that much. I've actually been looking for his cart for a while. So, the cotton candy burrito has got to be one of Seoul's most unique foods. Oh, yeah. It's really fun. If you are an adult or if you're a kid, I think you might like this. Yeah. But, I would definitely recommend sharing this with somebody because I've only taken a few bites. It is a sugar overload. What can you expect though? Yeah. 